Why was this man not in prison? That is what some state lawmakers are demanding to know. There's no way he should be, he should have been eligible for any type of of uh, parole or release because he had been arrested a number of different times. Methodist Medical Center is in state representative Rafael Anchia's district. The Democrat is calling for an investigation into the Board of Pardons and Parole who released Hernandez, a violent felon nearly two years early. He wants to know why after Hernandez violated parole twice, the board didn't revoke his parole to serve out his sentence, which would have kept him in prison until September of 2023. We're gonna get the state auditor involved. That's an independent en entity. And then we're also gonna be uh, uh, engaging in legislative oversight because this cannot happen again. And Chia also wants an investigation into the Texas Department of Corrections, who also could have kept Hernandez in jail longer after he tried to cut off his ankle monitor, but released him after only 100 days. Hernandez was allowed to walk into Methodist Medical Center with an ankle monitor to visit his girlfriend. Police say he later beat her up and shot a nurse and a caseworker who tried to intervene. Methodist police said they had no idea he was on their campus. The governor is in charge of appointing members of the parole board and oversees the Department of Corrections. Governor Greg Abbott was in town today for a campaign stop, but made no mention of the shootings and refused to answer our questions. We're not taking any questions today, sorry. WFAA has repeatedly asked him for comment, but so far he has remained silent. His challenger, Beto O'Rourke, addressed the shooting at a campaign event Tuesday night. I want to make sure that they stay behind bars, that we prioritize the public safety, protect our families, especially our kids, those caregivers that we just lost not too long ago in the DFW area, and that we do far better by and for one another. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez. The healthcare community is showing its support for those impacted by the shooting. Baylor Scott and White doctors and nurses from across North Texas came together today to observe a moment of silence for the two hospital employees who were shot and killed. Chaplains led a prayer for the team honoring the nurse and the social care worker and to stand in unity with them. We will continue pressing for answers on this story. Look for updates on air online at WFAA.com and on our WFAA app.